Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 56 in our legendary, our new, our improved series of Arduino tutorials. I will need you to pour yourself a large mug of iced coffee. Hot, strong coffee poured over ice, no sugar, because none is needed. It is excellent just the way it is. I will need you to get out your project from lesson number 55. And if you have not done that yet, you need to go back to lesson number 55 so that you can play along at home. And what we did in lesson number 55 is we connected the uh, HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor to an Arduino Nano. Now, if you bought the eLEGO kit, which I have done all of the lessons so far on, uh, on this kit it comes with an Arduino Uno and uh, with the Arduino Uno you can build all the projects that I'm doing in this series. It's just you reach the point that it's a little easier to build things with a Nano. If you haven't picked a Nano up yet look in the description down below there is a link that will take you to a nice uh, official Arduino Nano in a lot of the future builds, I'm using the Nano just because I like how neat and clean you can build things. Also, pick yourself up a set of these straight uh, connection wires so that you get real neat builds because as we're doing more complicated things, you want to have those neat builds. All right, you can watch this and watch me teach you how to plot live data from the Arduino. And if you aren't interested in this project and you don't want to do the project, you can watch along. You'll still learn how to plot things. Okay, where did we end up in lesson number 55 in this crazy series of tutorials? We ended up here where we are printing, we are measuring the distance to the target using the ultrasonic sensor, and then we are printing it out and that's pretty good and you can see that as I change the distance you can see the distance changing on the uh, data but the problem is you reach the point that what you would really like to do is you would really like to instead of having data you would like to have a graph and so let me show you how to do a graph first of all you have to kill your uh, you've got to kill your serial monitor because you can't open up the plotter if the serial monitor is going like that. And then I might in fact need to move to a different view here. And then I can show you here on your Arduino IDE, you come to tools, you come down to serial plotter, and then you plot. All right, and what do you see now? Let me see if this popped up on the other view, maybe, possibly. Okay, I believe that we have live data there. Okay, we have live data here, which is good. All right, so now you can see uh, you can see the target. And now as I move close, do you see how I get a graphical representation of moving closer and then moving further away? and then moving closer, and then moving further away. Okay, so you see I get a graphical uh, indication. That is really cool that you can get a live graph with just one click of the button. Something that is very disturbing to me is you have no control over your y-axis. So it is going to auto-scale, and you're going to end up with what it is auto-scaled to. You can keep it from collapsing, by adding additional data channels where you, like if you just printed out six and you printed out th uh, zero, it would never collapse below six and zero because it would keep those on there. So you can keep it from collapsing down, but you can't keep it like if I just move this and get a huge spike and then come back. You see I have auto scaled up to like 60 inches because of the bad data point. And then your only choice is to just sit here and wait for that bad data point to go by. But a lot of times when you're doing a project and you want a quick and dirty look at the data, this is a way to do it and I think it's pretty uh, I think it's pretty neat and this is a relatively new feature in Arduino and I have really enjoyed it so how do you do this it is relatively simple and I think a good view would be uh, 
yeah, I've got kind of a code view here, so this might be uh, this might be, be pretty good. First of all, when I start plotting the data, I like to take my other print statements out. And so if you look at the things that I'm printing here, I'm going to take the constants out just because I don't want it to get confused. It seemed to do okay here, but if I'm printing to the serial plotter, I like to just print the data. And what I want to show you is, is I want to show you that you can print more than one channel. And so let's just say, I say serial dot print, okay, I serial dot print uh, zero, all right, and so every time that's going to print a zero, and now you have to put a spacer, so what it does is you can go print, 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 each one of those prints will be its own channel, and then on the last one when you do print line, then it tells it to start again, so I would do serial print zero, I need some sort of separator, so I would say serial print quotes, comma, so I'm delimiting the data for Arduino, then distance to target, and then serial.print, and I will do, I probably need to do a print ln here, I believe, a distance to target, and then I would put another comma, okay, and then I'm going to do a serial.print ln, this is the last one, I'll take that other one off, and I can print, let's just say 10. Okay, so what this should do is this should give me a scale between 0 and 10. Again, if I go beyond that, it will auto scale out of that, but at least I can keep it from collapsing down. So uh, let's see, and I don't want to do a print L in there. That's a print, so I go print, 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 and each one of those is going to be a channel, and then it will go through again. So let's see if this is going to work. Downloading. All right, so it looks like, ooh, this is quite confusing. An unexpected result. I am just getting zero. So I get zero. I get distance to target. And uh, I am not getting separate. Ah, look at this. I think this is probably my problem. I put a quote instead of a comma. So real time debugging. I hope this fixes it. Waiting for the download. Okay, now this is kind of crazy. Again, an unexpected result. Uh, I print zero, I print comma. Okay, this, all right, this is kind of strange why it started out so strange. Let's see if I kill it and then call it back up. Ah, and now I'm printing, which I did not want to do. I want to go back to the serial plotter. All right, so let's see. Okay, clearly up at the top, you can see that 10 coming across. Then you can see the real data, and then you see zero coming across the bottom. Now, if I change this, you see it will change. If I get an erroneous reading, it does auto scale, and now we are just going to have to wait for that to move off the screen. So I can't do anything about that auto scale coming out. But what you can see is, is that you can print multiple or you can uh, plot multiple data channels just by putting a separator between them. Let's see what happens if I didn't do a print line here. I think this will probably be a disaster, but let's see what happens. Okay, this does seem to be hung. Let me see if I kill that and call it back up. Uh, serial plotter. All right, so clearly you've got to tell it that your channels are done with a print Ellen. You know the funny thing, a lot of times I get questions in the comments like, you know, uh, they're following a tutorial and say, well, what if I add four instead of three? It's like, you're asking me, you've got the code, just put it. So we try things sometimes, and what we see is indeed the last print needs to be a print LN, and then it should behave nicely. And so let's watch here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh man, what did I do? This is indeed a unexpected result. Do you see how it's just making... Uh, 
I think maybe the serial mo the, the serial plotter likes to be restarted when you start, which appears to be the case. So what we're seeing is is that when you rerun the program, you want to kind of stop st restart this serial pot plotter. So you see it's doing the ten, you see it's doing the zero, and then you see it is plotting the lab data between there. Okay, so that is very nice, and I'll probably fool around with this till I break it. So what have you learned? You have learned how to do multiple data channels live plotting from uh, the Arduino, and in this case we are plotting distance data. This is your homework for next week, which will be lesson number 57. I want you to make a live graph of the sine wave and the cosine wave at the same time. Okay, with the things that you've done in this lesson, you should be able to do that, but that's a pretty cool little project. It should be a quick one. And so go out and do a uh, live plot of the sine wave and the cosine wave at the same time. Come back in lesson number 57 and I will do it with you, but do your homework. Don't just cop copy and paste me. You've got to stop copying and pasting me. You got to learn how to do this stuff yourself. Paul McWhorter from toptechboy.com. I will see you guys in a couple of days for lesson number 57.